Welcome to r slash insane parents, where parents are so nutty that even entitled parents start to look normal. My hyper-religious grandparents think there is an evil spirit living in my Xbox. My grandparents are staying with my family for the summer and it's been torture. I'm 16 and I play a lot of Halo. Yesterday, while my parents weren't home, these mother effers barged into my room yelling at me to get off my Xbox because, quote, the spirit of Satan is tempting you through these devices. This is the second time they've done this in a week, and this time they tried to effing hide my controller in my mother's bedroom. I wish I'd recorded it because it was funny watching these old turds go mad over a gaming console. I guess this is what I get for using Xbox and not a PC, lol. <laughs> OP, you need to stop playing Halo and start playing Doom. Am I the butthole for forcing my son out of his first relationship because his girlfriend is overweight? I grew up in a very strict family where we were all on strict diets, had a basic exercise routine, and were active at least two hours a day. My wife and I have decided to enforce those rules on our kids. It's been that way ever since they were born. My son is 14 years old and my two daughters are seven and eight. Of course, I let my kids have their free time, but they seem to not have a problem with our daily routine to stay in shape. My son recently got his very first girlfriend. I've told him before that he needs a healthy girl to be his partner. I completely understand that he loves her and I want my son to be happy, but he is completely going against our rules and how our family functions. I truly do want my son to be happy, but health is the number one most important thing to us. I was afraid that his girlfriend's body weight would encourage the same negative behavior onto my son, so I ended the relationship. I do kind of feel bad, but at the same time, he broke the rules of our family. I cannot tolerate something like that. So tell me, Reddit, am I the butthole? Insane parents, health is the most important thing to my family. Also insane parents, mental health, what's that? Text message from mom. Your uniform will be outside on the lawn. You wanna make me suffer by not helping me with shopping for food and smokes, then I will make your life unbearable. All you had to do was transfer me the rent four days earlier, and now your cost of living per week is going to double because of a selfish, righteous decision. Your rent will and could be up to $300 per week. That's without food, power, water, and all other living costs. And you want to effing preach to me about what I buy? I knew I was never meant to have a baby. And if you're wondering what the kid is preaching to the mother about her buying, it's drugs. She's buying drugs. We have been unschooling for going on five years now. With that said, my older two, 10 and 11 years old, have completely stopped trying to learn anything. I also have a five-year-old, and so far, he has been doing great learning things on his own. But my older two just stopped progressing altogether. They don't help clean at all, they won't do anything to further their education or knowledge, and have fallen far behind their peers in most aspects when they had been advanced five years ago. I'm due with my fourth in February and have tried to convey that I will need their help once a new sibling comes, and also tried to explain the importance of them becoming independent and furthering their knowledge of whatever interests them. But all they seem to do is play, which I have no issue with at all. Video games, which causes a lot of frustration on the parts of my five and 10 year olds, because when they don't succeed, they have full on meltdowns that include hurting themselves and destroying things and fighting slash bickering. My five-year-old has started hitting all of us and screaming when things don't go his way, despite us never using physical punishments of any kind, and explaining how much it hurts us when he hits or screams at us. My boys are severely underweight because they refuse to eat most of the time unless it's covered in sugar. They would rather starve than eat any food I make or suggest. All three of my kids have had most of their teeth either pulled or needed fillings because their teeth are rotting from not eating enough, eating too much sugar, and not brushing often enough. I work part-time and my husband is currently working two jobs. When my kids are at my parents' house when I work, they eat and behave, according to my parents. But my parents also ask they do schoolwork at their house because they don't believe in unschooling and prefer we homeschool with curriculum, etc. 
It's been extremely difficult emotionally, and I'm worried what might happen when baby comes if we can't get everyone in the same book, let alone on the same page in my house. My husband is becoming very upset with our kids' lack of caring about their health or want to further their education, despite weekly trips to the library for them to get whatever books and videos they want. I'm not sure what this post is for, other than needing some advice and reassurance my kids won't end up unable to take care of themselves as adults. We have endless resources for them to peruse, whatever their interest may be. But if I left them to do as they please every day, it would be a non-stop YouTube marathon of my kids watching other families enjoy their lives or play video games. Think Hobby Kids TV, FGTV, Dan TDM, Dennis, Cookie Swirl C, R Slash, etc. Honestly, the problem is really obvious. You can't let your kids watch YouTube. YouTube is a black hole that destroys lives. Anyone who watches YouTube videos is a complete loser and they need to get offline immediately. Do you think you can lend me and daddy $600 until next Friday? We were approved for a car, but we have to put down $1,100. We only have $500. Won't have the rest until next Friday. 600 bucks? I don't even have 600 bucks. Oh, you should have a lot of money. Stop spending. The most I have is 300. Boy, how are you gonna ask me for money and tell me to stop spending? That conversation roughly went as follows. Hey, give me money. I don't have any money. I can't believe you aren't more responsible with your money so that I can spend your money. I have a big prayer request. My husband and mother-in-law have my oldest daughter with them at their house. They got her four vaccines today without asking me. I am anti-vaccines. Please pray she will be okay. Have your kids always been okay after vaccine shots? Vaccines don't cause autism. Vaccines cause adults. In this next post, OP is going to an Iron Maiden concert and he's almost 30. I just looked at the Iron Maiden website and a video. It is straight from the devil. My heart just keeps breaking over and over. Mom, it's just an 80s metal band. Dad has their cassettes in the basement from when he used to listen to them. It's fine. He said he didn't know, but I don't know. I will look. I just know that I watched the video, The Number of the Beast, and it is sickening. It is not fine. Just the picture alone on their website is sickening. Praying for your mind, eyes, and ears for what the concert is going to do to you. <laughs> I can't believe that Iron Maiden is corrupting completely innocent 30-year-old men. To the lady at Costco with her son on a leash, I'm sorry that I asked if he was a rescue. The profanity wasn't necessary, but thank you for not sicking him on me. No, no, you misunderstand. I'm not leashing my child because I'm lazy. This is my seeing eye baby. Dish is done by 3 p.m., okay? I get home at 3. Is 3.15 okay? If I look on the cameras and they aren't done by three, there will be consequences. I can't have them done that fast. It's three now and the dishes aren't done. That's a day of no tech. Lady, what the heck? How is he supposed to do the dishes if he's not even home yet? If you wanna be my mom friend, you gotta vaccinate your kids. Fine, I don't want your friendship. I only want my children around intelligent kids anyways. Not eczema, OCD, ADD, and the multiple spectrums of autism, including nonverbal. I think I'll be just fine. So will my healthy children. The user John Wick University said it best in regards to unvaccinated children. They won't stay healthy, but they will stay children. In this next post, OP paid his mom between $500 and $750 a month to live at home. And then he got sick of it and left. Enter these text messages. A lot of people in this town know why I kicked you out and how you ruined my Easter. Just remember, word gets around in a small town. All right, you smart butt mother effer. I already know the truth. You're not getting your laptop back. I'm getting rid of it. Good luck getting financial aid for college because you need my personal information and I won't give it to you. 
And you or nobody can make me. I wish I wouldn't have done anything for you your whole life. Because now you ain't nothing but a piece of garbage. A waste of time and a waste of God's creativity. You'll never get anything from me the rest of your life. Does anybody else find it a little bit disturbing for someone's mom to call them a mother effer? On this post, OP went for a walk at 10 p.m. and this is a text message from his mom. I want to go out for a walk. I need some fresh air. What? I want to go for a walk. To smoke? Drugs? Can I go out for a walk? No. For a bloody walk? To get some fresh air? You don't ever walk. I do. Drugs, alcohol, or fast food? Lady, maybe he just wanted to get away from you. I could really use help raising the money for my boob job. I am saving every penny and buying myself nothing until I reach my goal. If every one of my Facebook friends donates just $2, I'll reach my goals. Thanks in advance. And then this lady has her children hold up signs. Please help our mom get boobs. She looks like our dad. Lady, you don't need a boob job. You need a psych evaluation. My dad just slapped me effing hard because I didn't cry at a relative's funeral. They were never a close relative, but I'd spoken to them a couple of times. I went to the funeral and all that, and I was a bit upset, but I didn't cry. I just tend not to at death for some reason. It's just how I handle them. When the funeral had finished and we got back into the car, he effing slapped me with all he had and went on a rant about how disrespectful it was. My head is absolutely throbbing. Even now, a few days later, it's still hurting quite a bit. Update, he got home from work and I talked to him about it. He said that most people were crying, so why wasn't I? That was his reason, so I replied, I didn't know them that well. And now I'm barred to my room for the rest of the day. Hopefully my mom can talk some sense into him. I've sent her a text. So, to the dad in this story. Maybe the reason why OP doesn't cry at funerals is because he's been fantasizing about your death for years. On this next post, this is an insane contract that parents made their kids sign before going to college. I, blank, promise for the 2019 to 2020 year to, one, maintain at least a 3.5 GPA each semester. Two, refrain from drinking any alcoholic beverages for any reason, except communion. Three, no smoking, juuling, or vaporizing any substance of any kind. Tobacco, weed, or any other organic or inorganic substance. Four, attend church weekly, at least a 90% attend rate per semester. Five, refrain from having passionate hugging of any type, oral, etc. If I am found to have violated any terms of this contract, I will forfeit my loan and you are released from continuing to fund my education. I will be asked regularly whether I am fulfilling the obligations of this contract and any lying will also cause me to forfeit my loan and funding. As someone who's been to college, I read this contract a very different way. I, blank, promise to lie to my parents throughout my entire college career. To the lady living at this address, I also live in this neighborhood and have a problem. You have a kid that is mentally handicapped, and you consciously decided that it would be a good idea to live in a close proximity neighborhood like this? You selfishly put your kid outside every day and let him be nothing but a nuisance and a problem to everyone else with that noise polluting wailing he constantly makes. That noise he makes when he is outside is dreadful. It scares the heck out of my normal children. When you feel your idiot kid needs fresh air, take him to our park, you dope. We have a nature trail. Let him run around those places and make noise. Crying babies, music, and even barking dogs are normal sounds in a residential neighborhood. He is not. He is a hindrance to everyone and will always be that way. Who the heck is going to care for him? No employer will hire him. No normal girl is going to marry slash love him. And you are not going to live forever. Personally, they should take whatever non-R-word body parts he possesses and donate it to science. 
What the heck else good is he to anyone? You have an R-word kid. Deal with it properly. What right do you have to do this to hardworking people? I hate people like you who believe just because you have a special needs kid, you are entitled to special treatment. God, do everyone in our community a huge favor and move. Vamoose, scram, move away and get out of this type of neighborhood setting. Go live in a trailer in the woods or something with your wild animal kid. Nobody wants you living here and they don't have the guts to tell you. Do the right thing and move or euthanize him. Either way, we are all better off. Sincerely, one pissed off mother. So this lady says, nobody wants you living here and they don't have the guts to tell you. And then signs the letter anonymously. What a coward. That was r slash insane parents. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button for more daily Reddit videos.